As an immigrant kid trying desperately to fit in, I thought hot dogs were the quintessential American food. I begged my mom to let us eat them every night for dinner instead of chicken curry and rice. She nixed the hot dogs but sometimes let us have spaghetti, straight from a can. German immigrants invented hot dogs and we all know that spaghetti is from Italy. But if we were celebrating the 4th of July 150 years ago, neither one would have been on the menu. At that time, Germans and Italians weren't considered Americans. They weren't even considered white. I'll be sharing this holiday with friends, and along with our hot dogs, we'll be eating samosas, falafel, and tacos, things we brought with us from the old country. According to one sector of the immigration debate, we can keep our goodies to ourselves. America doesn't want them, or us. Immigration restrictionists say that the time for mass migration to the United States has ended. They're now going after not just undocumented immigrants, but all immigrants. They want us to cut back immigration levels by about 75%. They say that modern America has no room for masses of poor immigrants. There are no good jobs for the uneducated in a service economy or an information economy. And modern technology prevents people from breaking ties to their families and relatives at home and building loyalty to the US. This argument has a contemporary sheen, but it actually hasn't changed for centuries. In the late 19th century, the masses of immigrants coming were Eastern and Southern Europeans, Italians, Poles, Hungarians, and Jews. Native-born Americans hated those people because they wouldn't speak English, they were supposedly dirty, they made far too many demands on American corporations, they were so poor that they became public charges, and they had immoral sexual behavior. Hatred of those people led to the Immigration Acts of 1920 and 1924, which are the most restrictive we've ever had. Those acts built in quotas that supported Northern Europeans coming, but that kept out Southern and Eastern Europeans. Unable to enter the country legally, thousands of Southern and Eastern Europeans came without documents, and the U.S. started to deport them. Social reformers fought that kind of deportation. They said it was too sad to separate families and to send people back who had built long community ties in the U.S. They created mechanisms to legalize the undocumented Europeans. Mexicans couldn't use those mechanisms, partly because they didn't know about them and partly because they couldn't afford them. Instead of legalization, Mexicans got the guest worker program, the Bercero program, and Operation Wetback, the country's first mass deportation program. We do indeed need an immigration policy for the modern era. We're gonna get that not by going back to the levels of the 1920s, but by grappling with the fact that American culture and identity has always been changing. A modern immigration system would recognize the full humanity of all immigrants without regard to their racial origin. If it's true that we are what we eat, then Americans have been eating the entire world for a long time. It's time for our policies to catch up to our palates.